Hi everyone, I wanted to change things a bit today so I'm shooting this short video. I've been posting on AVAS uh, in the past week and I have received a few questions about what kind of models could support this type of simulation. So I want to show you today um, the type of model that it takes to uh, compute these transfer functions for AVAS. So as I said before, the objective is to compute transfer functions between different uh, speaker locations and different AVAS uh, microphones. And so to do that, what we need is, in this case, we're using a finite element model, an exterior acoustic finite element model that we're going to solve from the low frequencies up to the 5000 Hertz uh, one third octave band. So we're running a direct frequency response here in Actran. Um, we are uh, computing 10 frequencies per one third octave band. And um, as you can see, the analysis here is pretty straightforward. Um, the central part of this uh, model is a wrapped surface. So this wrapped surface is a closed surface that is going around all the different parts of the vehicle. Uh, this is typically something that you would either create starting from a geometry, or maybe you can reuse uh, one that has been created by your CFD team. And so on this wrapped surface, we're going to uh, define an exterior acoustic component. This is what allows us to compute the uh, exterior acoustic propagation uh, through finite elements, and the mesh will be created at the solver level. Um, in this model, we can also add, for example, acoustic treatments. So here in this case, I've added a few treatments on the wheel arch of the vehicle, um, but we could add different type of treatments. We could add um, some absorption for the, the road as well. So there are a lot of variety that can be introduced. Then, of course, we need our sources. So here I have defined three different sources that you can see with the uh, yellow dots here at three different locations. Uh, so these are going to be our different sources. And we are going to have different AVAS uh, microphones. And to facilitate the process, we have here this AVAS uh, array that we can directly um, define. And here we can see all the microphones that are required in order to evaluate the AVAS um, performance according to the European and the US standard. And so when I go ahead and run this simulation, what's going to happen is uh, the solver will actually create different meshes for different frequency range. I can show you how it looks like. So it's actually using the radiation uh, meshing tool in the background. It will just take a few seconds, and then you will see uh, the mesh that is created here. And so here we have a near field mesh that was created around and a non-reflecting boundary condition here in order to allow for acoustic propagation in the far field. So that's how a model would look like. As you can see, it's pretty simple. That's also a demo model, so it's uh, pretty simple and, and uh, lightweight, I would say. Uh, but I hope it gives you a good picture of how we would run such a model. Um, if you have other things you'd like to see, or if you like this format, please let me know, and I'll try to do more of these videos. Thank you for watching.